I'm here at IMTS with my friend Olaf. We're at the Heimer booth and I just got told when I showed up this morning this is a brand new solution. Germany was kind of holding back. They were keeping it secret until today. So Olaf, what, what are we looking at right now? Yeah, uh, thank you Alan, for this, uh, that you are interviewing us here today. <laughs> That's really cool and I'm very excited to be here at the IMTS uh, in Chicago. Wonderful always to be here. And yeah. you're right, we are showing really something spectacular. It's such a great product. It's an autonomous working presetting device. It will allow, without any programming skills, to use it in your shop reducing the workload of the operator as well as the required skill level you need to operate a presetting device. So it's really, really the start of a great uh, product here at the IMTS show and we are super excited for it. Yeah, well, and that, that's the nice thing, right? Anytime there's a new system, if people don't have presetters or anything, I mean, you guys offer balancers, you offer a ton of other solutions as well. But when it comes to presetters, a lot of people are like, oh, it's hard to learn. Oh, my guys, they chose the wrong tool on the screen. Now the, the diameters, everything's set up wrong. So how, what is it, what can we do with this to prevent that? How does that help? You may have heard uh, Andrea Simon talk about it a lot. The push button system and Heimer yeah. really strives to work and make the machines push button systems that everybody can actually operate. In this case, it's not a button we push, but it's a, we would call it measure by touch. It's this little yeah. handle here. Can I touch and it? I just double tap it. Okay. And now the measure cycle starts full autonomously, where we find now the length <laughs> of the tool by itself. I didn't have to program, or you didn't program anything. No, I just touched and, the... And the teaching time was less than two seconds. Yeah. How amazing is this? So we are now following the contour of the tool because we need to find out how many cutting edges does the end mill in this case have. And we will measure each cutting edge individually. And that's what we do now. We detect the number of cutting edges and we measure each individually as well. We give the summarization of all fluids. We call that the sigma function. In addition, as we see here, four tools and the combined tool all together in this case. In oh, this wow. case, we also see it uh, found the mill like it is supposed to be. Yep. And now, because maybe it's a repeating job and we have wear on the tool, I need to change it. I don't want to run it this way every time. I can just push this little button, it's called playback. And now it puts all the data in my database pre-programmed. Now oh, I can wow. give it a tool ID here, that's, that's what I have to do, one, two, three, four. Yep. And it, I may use it already, that's why it says existing, because I'm using the same uh, tool ID for this show here. Yeah. And now I can give it our unique ID, which we have now standard on all Heimer tool holders, which allows me to digitally follow this tool in the shop and also make it available at the machine. That is so cool. You can just, you've got a little code on the side that you scan and now it's automatically going to log everything for That's us. Right. And what can I do with this? Now we, it's the same tool principally, I mean it's a drill now, but yeah. we have also the QR code and what I want to show you is what data we can now actually get from this uh, tablet. Yeah. I have this on my machine. Uh, we have uh, the possibility now to scan the QR code. Oh, right, just right down there. There we go. Uh, in addition, we can have uh, the, QR, uh, the RVD chip. Yep. Yeah. And with the RVD chip, it's a great system. Same with the QR code system. Yeah. But one disadvantage is, can you tell me what data is on here? No, I don't know anything. No. I can't see anything. No, uh, you also don't have the RVD technology to read it. Yeah? No. And that's a problem. I have now a tool. It was in the machine. It came out. It may still have two life. Yeah. But this station allows me, the same for the uh, QR code system, that I can read the QR code from here and not just get the data on the chip, but also all the data from my database, like the picture, oh. like additional information, where is it located, where is it stored. So yeah. we can reach the RID technology and the QR code technology by ad additional data for the guy in the shop floor. That's, that's fantastic. I mean, there's so many times where they're like, oh, the data's in silos, it's not usable. You guys are integrating all of it. And it really eliminates on shop floors, especially job shops where I think this would shine because it's so easy to use and so easy to adapt, is it, there's a lot of, oh, well, go ask Bob or go ask Tim or go ask Olaf. Oh, well, they've gone home. Yeah. 
we don't know. We either got to start with a new tool or we got to wait for them. And time is money in manufacturing. Time is money and that's the most important part. To get you more effective, to be faster in your shop, more organized, better organized and with a skill level you can handle. That's really our goal here to help you to make more money. Yeah, well, and that's all things I can get behind. I really appreciate everything the team here at Hymer is doing to make it easier, checking out this brand new solution to, to just make it simpler to set up your tools, which means we do it faster, people. Faster means more money. So, faster means more awesome. Money. Thank you. Thank you so much, Olaf.